Hello everyone and welcome to Fletcher Farms Amarillo. I'm Julie Fletcher. I know it's been a while and haven't gotten a video out, but Corey and I ended 2022 with probably the worst case of flu that either one of us has ever had. So that would be a reason why uh, there hasn't been a video for a couple weeks. So we're finally on the mend and feeling better. <clears throat> Still kind of have a little sore throat and a cough, but other than that, we are on the mend. Started probably the week before Christmas, so it's been uh, it's been a rough couple weeks, but we made it through and I hope everyone had a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and everyone stayed safe. Uh, Corey worked for the holidays, so I really didn't do much. I stayed home and cleaned the house and took care of the animals and uh, got better from the flu. But after that, we've, we've all been on the mend. Today I'm not actually doing this video from the barn uh, because we had an unexpected visitor show up yesterday here on the farm. Um, I don't know if there's a big giant sign that says go to Fletcher Farms if you want to be taken care of or, or what the situation is, but uh, this little guy showed up on our front door the other day and this is our new addition to the farm. This precious guy showed up on our front doorstep on New Year's Day and there was no way that I was going to leave him outside because it was going to get cold again. So we took him in for the night, got him warm, and got him to the vet the next day. But I took him to the vet this morning and he does not have a microchip. This was at the vet's office. He was such a good boy. He didn't whine. He didn't cry. He did really good. He got all his shots and they actually did blood work as well. So he did really good and he was a very good boy. He's extremely underweight. We did blood work and had everything checked out on him. Um, he's healthy, other than being a little anemic, but that's probably from him being underweight and starved. Um, gonna get him on the mend, and he's gonna be the newest member of Fletcher Farms Amarillo. We've decided to name him Dax. Come here. I know, look at you, who's a good boy. That's the cutest little face. I scoured Facebook yesterday looking to see if he had an owner and no one was looking for him and definitely by his condition I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure no one's been looking for him either so but he's safe here now here on the farm and he's not gonna he's gonna have a good life so it'll take a little integration because our other two dogs are dog reactive so we're gonna take it slow with introductions and keep everybody separated for now so we don't have any incidents but he's super sweet so far and he didn't react to any of the other dogs at the vet's office this morning so that was a good thing well he's officially going to be ours so we are going to take a bath now <laughs> yeah but you're so skinny buddy we're gonna get you better but we're gonna take a bath after our bath, we put a sweater on because it was a little bit chilly outside still and he needed to go potties. After the vet's office today, we got a new toy and got a new collar. <laughs> what you doing, little guy? We're losing our hair too. Um, the vet said that's because um, his body's probably working to just support his vital organs and hair growth was not part of um, what his body needs. So well, we're just gonna sit in the sun. I can't get a video of him because he keeps moving closer. There we go. Oh, that's a good boy. Yeah, that's a good boy. Oh, what is he? Oh, that's a cat. Hmm. Well, here's an interaction with the cat. That's Lucas. He lives here. Our cats are doing good, too. The other two cats that we had still never came back. Um, don't know what happened to them. Pretty sad. Um, but we still do have Lucas and Tom. And... <coughs> we don't like cats. <coughs> Okay, leave the kitty alone. 
But this is Dax. He's our newest addition to Fletcher Farms Amarillo, and we will definitely have more updates coming on him and his progress and how he's doing. Um, other than that, we've just been doing little projects around the farm. We worked on getting the, um, the room done. We put a base layer of sand down. If you're new to our channel and haven't seen any of our videos, we are in the process of making a feed room here in the barn so I can make all our horses Alpha Pro since it needs to be mixed with water. So I've been doing that inside the house and bringing buckets back and forth is just really inconvenient. So since we are getting more visitors to the farm, we're actually going to put a bathroom out here as well. So this is going to be our feed room. There'll be a bathroom and a sink and then we'll be able to do everything outside in the barn as opposed to bringing it in the house. And just be more convenient all around. So this was us bringing in the sand for the base layer to go underneath where we're gonna pour the concrete. After we got everything spread out, Corey used the tamp and he just tamped it all down. And then after that, we're probably gonna put another layer in here just to build it up a little bit more before we pour the concrete. Uh, all the horses are doing really well. Everyone's doing good. Uh, Anna tried to kick at Charlie and she's limping on that back leg again. So we're going to keep an eye on it. And if she's not better by and probably tomorrow, I'm going to call the vet and we're going to get her brought down there. But I'll keep you posted on that one. Uh, but right now she's doing OK and uh, just definitely hates Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> but she does eat lunch with Charlie, so we'll 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 see how this all goes. You want to eat next to Charlie today? Do you want lunch next to Charlie? Lunch? I'll go get it. Anna's eating lunch today with Charlie. I'm trying to get her used to eating uh, closer to the other horses, so Charlie hasn't tried to kick her or anything like that. So I've got her eating in Freya's stall. So today we are trying a new adventure, right? Yeah. You're such a pretty girl. So we obviously uh, didn't integrate her yet <clears throat> with the other animals. We had a cold snap. It was negative 25 one morning. This was the wire on the chicken coop. It had a little frost all over it. It was actually, everything was really pretty. This was more of the wheat grass in the field with frost on it, but this was from the Arctic storm that moved through last week. Since the temperatures were so low, we kept Charlie in his run, and we also kept Freya in her run, so there would just be more room for the other horses in the main part of the barn. Unfortunately, most of the horses just stayed outside, but I don't understand why they don't come inside, but they just do not like the barn. But everyone did really well during the storm, and we used some extra hay and kept them fed and make sure that they had everything that they needed. So we all survived the winter storm. In the middle of the winter storm, our neighbors were putting up a fence and Charlie apparently did not approve the permit because he was very upset about what was going on. So this was him being all worked up over the new fence that they were building. I did stay outside with him until he calmed down a little bit. There was an incident before that he ran straight into one of these fences and I just didn't want that to happen to him again. So I made sure that he was calm before I went back inside. And the other horse that's there, that's Anna. She thinks that Charlie's crazy.
with the winter storm, we made sure that they had extra hay. So this is all the horses around the hay feeder. And this was them eating the hay. It was actually pretty funny to see all their little faces eating hay. And it's really funny to hear them chew. what's been going on around here um, these are some video clips like I said it was cold so we really haven't been doing a lot and I haven't been out um, you know hanging out with the horses a lot just because it's been so cold um, just getting them fed and making sure they're taken care of and their food and their water is all good we did have to shore up some uh, minor things that we had going on uh, Anna doesn't use the Richie waters I don't know why she just doesn't like them but she won't use the Richie water so we had to get her a heated bucket and then we also needed something for the goats, so we got the goats um, a heated bucket as well. These are some video clips from the horses from the past couple weeks. Like I said, it's been cold and haven't really had a chance to just hang out with the horses, but these were just some video clips that I caught of them during the last couple weeks. This was Freya taking a nap. And Sophie, she hates the camera. This was her sticking her nose around the corner, and as soon as she saw the camera, she backed up. And Miss Anna waiting for breakfast patiently. And this was one time that Charlie was actually being nice to Anna and wasn't trying to kick her. This is Charlie heading out to the pasture for the night, and this was just another night with a beautiful sunset. And Charlie is still doing good at night without his grazing muzzle, so he goes out to the pasture and he hasn't had any issues with choking or any signs of issues with choking. So that's a really good thing, and we're really glad that he can go out and graze on the little grass and not have to wear the muzzle. This is Miley and Sophie grooming each other. They do this quite often, and it's always so cute to watch. Our poor trees, we don't have many here on the property, but the ones that we do have are actually kind of small and the horses always seem to get out there and scratch on them and use them in any way that they can. So they're still standing, so they're tough little trees. This was Charlie and Cammie out in the pasture. I don't know what was up with Cammie, but she just didn't want anything to do with Charlie and actually almost tried to kick him at one point too, right here. Poor Charlie has to put up with so much with all these mares. And Miss Anna again walking around in the paddock area. I do leave Charlie's run open and Freya's so she can get more access to the barn and just explore a little bit more on her own when everyone else is out in the pasture area. And that's Charlie and Aline. Aline's over there by the tree. And that's Charlie and Cammie in another beautiful sunset. And this is Miley and Sophie. And this was everyone heading out to the pasture one night. It's really cool to watch them all go out together and stay together as a herd. And eventually Cammie caught up with them as well. Sometimes it takes her a little longer because of her pasture and bone issue. But she still gets along and she gets moving when she needs to.
And this is a perfect example of Cammy actually catching up with the rest of the herd. She doesn't like to be left behind, and when she wants to move, she can go. Wilson and Gunner got new toys from Santa. This was them enjoying them for about five minutes. And these are some other pictures that I had taken over the last couple weeks around the farm. The other thing that we decided to do too, Misha, the goat, she produces more milk than I could ever make goat milk soap. <laughs> so we decided that we're going to donate her milk to a um, wildlife rescue here that takes in orphaned animals in the spring. And we're gonna donate her milk um, to them so they can use it for the babies that they get in the spring. So um, I'll definitely have another video on that when I go to bring the milk to them. And speaking of goat milk soap, over the last couple of weeks, we've released a bunch of new aromas. If you haven't seen them, head over to our website and check them out at FletcherFarmsAmarillo.com. And if you don't follow us on Instagram or Facebook, make sure you follow us there as well, because that's where we usually release all of our goat milk soap that we have available. So head on over there and check that out and try out our goat milk soap fresh from the farm. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching and like I said I hope everyone had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and we'll keep you updated on Dax and his condition and how he's doing but Dax is our new our newest rescue so welcome to the family Dax we love you make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything happening here around the farm because obviously there's always something crazy going on and thank you so much for watching we truly appreciate your support and thank you to everybody that has again sent us gifts of alpha pro and we just really can't thank you enough we truly appreciate your support so thank you again and we'll see you all soon have a great day